Welcome to Moonfall Garage and today I have my spraying gun and I want to show you guys the settings that this and most guns have and the things that you need to have on your gun if you want it to achieve good paint. This gun right here it's a SADA J2000. This uh, gun it's made in Germany and uh, I had it for uh, I would say about 10 years and still spraying really really good. So. Uh, I'm going to explain you guys the uh, the settings that are on uh, spraying guns. I'm not going to be too technical. I'm just going to try to be like uh, clear on how these things uh, work. So the first thing, obviously, we got the cup, right? And then we have this um, airflow uh, regulator right here. You can adjust how much air is going into the gun by uh, PSI. Right, and then next to it we have a uh, moisture uh, filter that it's uh, before the gun. So this is how I set it up. Also, your your compressor needs to have some type of uh, uh, moisture control, right? So this is just like how you need to have uh, uh, your gun set up. If you just connect it straight up without this, two things will happen. Uh, it will be a lot harder for your gun to control the airflow because the guns they have a, a way how you can control the airflow but if you do this um, this uh, this setup it will be a lot easier for you to control the airflow and also the uh, the moisture because if you don't have this a lot of the water that it's generated in the uh, air compressor will make it to the gun and then to your paint so yeah, you need this and also a, a moisture control in line for your um, for your compressor. So this is it on uh, on the uh, setup before the gun, and then so now with the settings of the gun, my first setting on this gun it's also another airflow airflow air control. So uh, the way this works right there, it's fully closed, which means no air will go in, and then you can just adjust it that will be full uh, uh, airflow going through right and then right here this is the second uh, uh, setting that this thing has and this controls the uh, fluid it controls the fluid right uh, so how this works if you go backwards and screw it the needle that goes in here bucks up allowing more uh, pain going down so what's going to be happening more pain will be coming out of your gun you want less pain what you do you close it so um, let's say if you use a spraying uh, clear coat and it's all the way open there will be a big chance for you to get uh, runs on the clear coat so um, I usually like to have it like right kind of in the middle, right? So that's not too much, not too little. Simple as that. So this thing has two uh, like knobs. One is what it's going to be setting up the fluid. And the other one is just to lock it in place. Because as you spray, this could be moving and you do not want that, right? So that's how you set this up. This one right here, this is one of the most important important settings that it's in your gun. And this controls the flare, how your spraying uh, comes out. So right now, if I open it all the way, what that does, it allows me to spray about this pattern out of my gun. If I close it a little bit, right, it might give me this much so if I close it more you might give me this much so if I close it this much it will give me about this much so what this is doing right um, this kind of like flare this smaller flare will be kind of used in like hard areas to reach um, because it's more direct uh, but you in reality want to paint all of it on the uh, biggest flare that you can um, that, that will help you in get like a super nice stretch on your on your paint uh, also by controlling airflow I don't want to get too technical with that but I'm, I'm, I'm just 
trying to, uh, to show you guys what the gun setting is right so um, this controls the flares this is really important so if you close it all the way down then it will be super narrow you know if you open it it will be super wide so that's what uh, what this controls and I usually I just keep it all the way open unless I'm doing like a bumper and the bumper has like uh, really hard areas to reach then I close it up a little bit right by getting maybe this flare or this tiny one depend, uh, depending on what I'm shooting right but when I'm doing this what I will do because that controls less spraying so it's more direct right so when you want it to do such a thing like that like going with the let's say with this small flare what you do you close the fluid you don't want too much fluid going into such a narrow thing because then you're going to have runs, right? So what you do, you close it. Before you shoot the area, try it out somewhere else where it's not the panels that you're going to be painting on a wall, on a piece that you might have uh, laying around. Try it before you like really uh, spraying, right? Because uh, if it's a hard area to reach, you do not want runs in a hard area to reach, right? That makes that makes sense, right? So that's the settings on the gun, and your uh, cup also has a little secret for many. Uh, so this little nut that's on top of it, right? It has a hole, and this hole allows the the air that is going here to to flow. So like the pen is coming along. So if you have a gun that's super like uh, dirty and there's a lot of dry uh, paint up here and the hole is clogged and then you're wondering why when you're spraying it's not spraying as how it's used to. First I will clean the whole gun and uh, unplug uh, the hole again. Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. Right? Uh, I don't know if this... Uh, it's not gonna focus but anyway so this right here right um, it's just like a an extra per precaution uh, device because it just needs a hole but this hole if you use spray like this paint can come out of here right so what they doing they even this has a hole on the side and it's hollow in the middle so you can actually direct the hole upwards from where you're painting. So when you're painting, there's no uh, risk of this leaking on your paint, which that happened in one of my paints. Um, if you want to see that one paint, I'm going to link the, the link uh, right below. And yeah, you can see how um, that happened. Uh, drapes were happening because my, my um, cup wasn't sealing. So this is a new cup, right? So I'm sorry if you guys can hear a, a line more somewhere. Uh, I'm just already like halfway here and I'm almost about to be done. But uh, so let's do a recap on this. Airflow meter, moisture control, uh, filter, air fil uh, airflow uh, control, no. Fluid control, no. Outworks means more fluid inwards means less fluid this controls the needle when you spray the needle that goes back that's what controls it so uh and then we have our flare all the way open will be full flare you close it it will be a narrow flare so they are doing my neighbor's uh, backyard. They're getting noisy. I hope this find you well. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Moonfog Rats. See you. Woo!